So playing Lyndon B. Johnson, what a role yeah. on stage to yeah. play. Tell us about that. Well, it came very suddenly. Yeah. I was in Dubrovnik filming the last episode of, uh, of Succession, and I got this call, would I go and do what they described to me as a dramatized reading, but we're taking over a theater, the link, we're just across the road at the uh, Lincoln Center, at the Vivian Beaumont, and uh, I said, oh, sure. He said, yeah, you will only do four weeks, he said, because we're going to change Lyndon Johnson's, and the idea is we're doing this reading. I said, fine, okay. And then they called me back, and they said, um, well, actually, we've changed. We'd like you to do a little longer. And I said, okay, I'll do a little longer. And then they said, oh, we don't want to do a dramatized reason. We want to do a full production. Well, it was difficult because I only had three weeks. Three weeks to learn Gosh. 154 pages. And it was... Of history. Of history. <laughs> and you know, no playing cheating, this man. amazing man. Yeah. I mean, he really was an amazing man. I mean, he was, he was kind of tragic in a, in a way because he got... He did... He got civil rights, voting rights, Medicare, uh, uh, education programs, poverty programs. But they're also the war. Uh, pardon? And the he was undone by yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. Vietnam completely undid the whole thing. So he's a kind of tragic figure. And this is Shakespearean, actually, his role, you know, his character. You know, one thing that I read and I was so fascinated by was because there was so much to learn, 100-some pages in just a few days, that you actually had an earpiece. I had to have. He's, he's over there. I had to have. Your earpiece is here? Yeah, my earpiece is What's here. What's he yeah. telling you now? No, he's... he's <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, okay, I got that, yeah. And just to behave myself. Anyway, uh, no, I mean, what happened was I, you know, I thought, well, I'm, you know, I said to Bill Roush, our wonderful director, I said, yeah, I can do it, but, you know, you're not giving me any time. He said, well, we'll see. And we kept saying, we'll see every day, you know. So I said, okay, okay, okay. And then it was getting nearer and nearer performance. And I said, so do I go on with, because I knew about 80%. I said, do I go on with the book? He said, have you ever thought of an earpiece? And I said, no, I've never used that. I've never had to use that. He said, well, I think we could try it. So we, Mickey, who's an old friend of mine, he came into the floor and uh, he did it. And uh, we sat down and he went through it and it worked. So for the first Eight days of previews, I had this earpiece. Wow, that takes a skill. I could not wear an earpiece no, no, and even host the show. And, and, I would... and the thing about it is that in the show, I am the, I am the engine. Yes. I mean, I never stop. You're the president. I just, just yeah, all yeah. the way through. Yeah. Well, you are amazing in person. So wonderful to watch you. Congratulations on all of your continued success. The Great Society at Lincoln Center's Vivian Beaumont Theater right now through November 30th. Brian Cox, everybody. Thank you.